Fuck you, I'm smarter, bitch. I can't believe you're gonna rig this game. We don't wanna feel dumb anymore. I feel so stupid right now. We're here to find out if we're actually dumb. Don't ask us any questions. Two bumbling hey. morons. <laughs> Fuck you, I'm smarter. Welcome to Fuck You, I'm Smarter, the comedy game show where we compete with the guests to be crowned the smartest person in the room. So... <laughs> oh no, the ghost is dying again. Oh, God, oh no, she has emphysema. The ghost. That was probably really appealing for the listeners. <laughs> Apparently the ghost smokes like two packs a day. It's a ghost with the black oh, lung. Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> well, listen, happy spooky season again. We're not giving up on it. No. We, it's not over till it's over. Listen, we don't care if you like... No. <laughs> we didn't get a spooky season last year. Exactly. So we're doubling down. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's mm-hmm. another Halloween episode. It's another spooky theme. But we have, have a lot to say. And we have invited someone who also has a lot to say about Halloween and spooky season. Our favorite spookster, Mike Melandra, is joining us for a special pop quiz Halloween edition from the car. From a car. From a car, <laughs> driving to Philly, from a new house that he just bought, getting in a plane, going like he's he, he's having this crazy epic like him and Justin are having this crazy like two and a half week long adventure of like all these different trips and moving and this and that. And then it will culminate in them coming to LA and having a Halloween party. Yes. So So that's what we're excited about. We'll post some pictures when we do party with him for Halloween. Um, But we hope you enjoyed this episode and uh, we'll see you on the other side. (laughs) That's enough. Great. Fuck you, I'm smarter. Our friend Mike Melandra is here to answer some questions for us. We're going to do a little pop quiz with him. Um, We thought about him because it is, of course, spooky season. And when I think spooky season, I think Michael Melandra. Yes. He is a big decorator. He's big into um, literally everything. Uh, Your Halloween Halloween. parties. The Halloween parties were epic. Epic. And... Um, I, th- I now live in the place where Mike Melandra used to live and throw these ha- epic Halloween parties and there's no way I'm living up. No. No. In no. fact, he has to come here with his fiance to back to LA in order to throw a Halloween party because I can't do it myself. That's correct. Yeah. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> so have you we always... Need support. Oh, well, yes. We need the support. We can't do it alone. And you are like the veteran um, Halloween person. You're a go-to Halloween guy. So yeah, did you always love all things spooky? And what's your favorite part of spooky season? Yeah, um, I think I've always loved spooky stuff. Um, as a kid, I, my parents were really into Halloween. And we used to set up this really gory like display every year. And I think that was like kind of a spark to this. And also watching horror movies when I was way too young to be doing so. Uh, um, perfect. My favorite spooky... What was it? the question? My favorite spooky what? Yeah, like the part your fav- spooky season. Your favorite part of it. I think... I don't know. It's either watching horror movies for the whole month. Yeah. Or uh, the, the decorating and putting all the, the lights up and the fog machines and, you know, the scarecrows, I mean, all that stuff. That makes sense because you are, like, you build sets, like, you, you're you an artist, like, that's your, that's your, that's your vibe. You yeah, built a it, coffee table that we used to dance on on these Halloween parties. <laughs> it was very sturdy and many people on it at one time. <laughs> I can attest to that. There are pictures. Amazing. All right. Well, should we should we start? Do you have any more yeah. questions for Mike before we get well, started? Well, I just wanted to tell Mike two things. First of all, I was walking past the house today that just had like limbs hanging from the <laughs> the tree and it was like so gross and gory and I was like, Oh, I miss Mike. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it was, right, he's out of me and he's all I did I just, like just just <laughs> yeah. dead limbs hanging from a tree. Um and also when I met you I like when I first met you and first got your number, I like didn't know your last name. So I just put Mala because I knew it was like Mala, Mala something. Something. And then I never changed it because Kelly knows that's what I do. I like I put something in my phone and then I never change it. (laughs) 
Uh, yeah, she dated someone who worked at the London hotel where we worked, and she put his name in, and then the London at the end of it, just like everybody else that we ever worked with yeah. there. So it's like so and so. The never London. changed it. Never changed it. They dated for five years. So your phone, your number, my phone still is saved <laughs> as Mike Mala. And because Lindsay and I unfortunately <laughs> share some kind of go- we share like a Google, that. we sh- mm-hmm. we share an email address, so I all of her contacts also show up in my phone as as the same way that she has them as her contacts. Does it say Mike Mala yes. in your phone? And I have no That's idea why. Amazing. Because then I also had his number saved correctly oh. with his correct full <laughs> last name. But it still sometimes will come up like Mike Mala. I'm like, yeah, I guess that's that. That's yes, that's what I want to call. I love that. I love it. Well, it's Halloween, you little weenies. Are you ready to play a Halloween quiz? I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's do it. All right. I tried to think a little outside the box because last year I did a Halloween quiz that talked about the history of Halloween. So if you guys want to go back and listen to last year's and learn all about the history of Halloween, go back to last year. That's okay. not what we're doing here. So we're going to do something a little different. We're going to play a game called Happy Halloween, you weenies. Okay. All right. Okay, Mike. On the year that I was born, 1983, can you guess what was the most popular Halloween costume in this year, 1983? I can give you an A, B, and C if you want it. Okay. Is it Uh, A? uh, Yeah, I mean, sure. (laughs) Yeah. I think take it if you take it if you got. If it's offered, give Smoke them if you got them. Smoke if you got them. Was it A, Princess Leia, B, Freddy Krueger, or C, Hulk Hogan? Hulk Hogan. Uh, I, Hulk I was actually going to say Freddy be- before you read the, the <gasps> multiple choice. So mm. I think I'm going to go with Freddy. Oh, my God. That is incorrect. Ah! Oh, no. <laughs> but Damn it. I Tricks mean, me. you're very close. That was 84. So oh, wow. Okay. okay. Kelly, what do you think 83 was? Do you think it was Princess think... Leia or Hulk Kogan? Stop. <laughs> Ew. Ew. Hulk Kogan. Hulk disgusting. Ew. Kogan. I know. It's that really not. Nice. It sounds disgusting. I don't know what it means, but it sounds I don't either. Disgusting. Hulk Kogan. It sounds like something you Kogan. need to see the doctor about. Yeah. That is not okay. It's bad. Yeah. It's not good. Um, <laughs> I'm going to say Princess Leia. <gasps> that is correct. And I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. I was born in 1982. And while this is a few years after that, this memory uh, from probably like 86 or 7, I know kids were still dressing up as Princess Leia because my first memory is dressing up like Princess Leia. Really? And going to like a fair and riding a pony. That's so yeah. cute. <laughs> I was yeah, I was going to not say that because it was the 70s, right? But it was the late 70s, I think, wasn't it? Oh, okay. Maybe I think I, it was still, guess, it was still, know. think about how wildly popular it still is. Yeah. So like, I think it was. That's yeah, true. That's yeah. true. It's everlasting. And mm-hmm. some things are like the most popular thing for five years in a row, mm-hmm. you know? So maybe it was one of those guys. Yeah. All right, Kelly. Yes. And just for ghouls and goblins, what was the most popular costume in 2019? Because 2020 mm-hmm. and 2021 right, isn't here count. yet. 20 to 20 doesn't count. Yeah. So. 2019, was it A, Donald Trump, Ugh. B, Hocus Pocus, or C, Hulk, Hocus Cocus, Hocus Cocus, or C, Fortnite? I don't know what, I never saw Hocus Pocus, hmm. and I don't know what Fortnite is, except I know it's some what kind of video. Fortnite? Like, I don't know what it is. I don't know what you it would look, I don't know what it looks like. I just know yeah. kids are obsessed with it. Let's hmm. go with Fortnite. That is correct. 2019. And 2018, Hocus Pocus, even though the movie was in the 90s, <laughs> it was 2017. Wow. Donald Trump, 2016. Good. All right. What a, co- what a Kogan. <laughs> what a Kogan What a that fucking is. Kogan. <laughs> All right, Major Mike Mala. Kogan. Mike Mala. Mike Mala. <laughs> According to Instacart purchase data from last year... Customers purchased 2.5 million pounds of candy in the weeks leading up to October 31st. The top five Halloween candies are peanut M&M's, M&M's, Reese's peanut butter cups, Hershey's milk chocolate, and Twizzlers. 
Okay, so M and M's, peanut M and M's, Reese's Pieces, peanut butter cups, Hershey's milk chocolate, and Twizzlers. Can you okay. tell me out of these five, which one is the most popular candy sold during Halloween? Reese's. <gasps> that is incorrect, but that's what I would Damn want. It. That's what I would want too. <laughs> that's what I, mean, I would want. It's an orange wrapper. It seems Halloween. It does. And, it does. and it's the best tasting one it of is. all of those. So yeah, Kelly, what I'm do you disappointed. Th- I know, me too. Uh, so lame. I fucking hate Twizzlers. I'm gonna guess Twizzlers. That is also incorrect. It is actually peanut M and M's. They could have just had really? like a better peanut flavor with chocolate as well by going the Reese's, but they failed. Losers. Losers. I also read an article that Skittles is a really, really popular candy during Halloween, yeah. which I also think just eh, around the They're trash. just kind of whatever. I mean, if you're going fruit flavored no. candy, Starburst all the way for me. Starburst, 100%. Sweethearts. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to ask both of you this next question. Okay. Yeah. There's a thousand dollar fine for using or selling blank. In Hollywood on Halloween. A thousand dollar fine for using or selling blank in Hollywood on Halloween. You both can guess. A big steak cocaine? knife. Cocaine and a big steak knife. Now cocaine is technically yes. <laughs> That's gotta be correct, is. actually. By you default. get a point. Yeah. You get a point for that. Woo. That is I haven't been I was supposed to be taking points well I, okay. I decided i was going to and i think mike we has don't two. have any <laughs> mike, oh. mike have two okay. mike just got one no but he had that one was his first for one freddy krueger no he didn't get oh, that it was wrong no. you got one and he got one okay it's actually silly string oh my god yes i feel like i've heard that yes since 2004 after thousands of bored people would buy it on the streets of Hollywood from illegal vendors and mm. vandalize the streets. Mm. They made it illegal um, from 1201 on October 31st to 12 p.m. on November 1st to go anywhere near Silly String. <laughs> oh, wow. that, I have fond memories of Silly String, but I, I can understand how that could be really a nightmare. It's a mess. Yeah. 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 All right, this one's for That's both. That's so weird. Isn't that weird? Okay. This one's yeah. for both of you guys as well. Okay. Invented by George Reniger, <laughs> a candy maker <laughs> at the Wonderly Candy Company of Philadelphia in the 1880s. Oh, this is from your, from your city, Mike. This My candy was originally called buttercream candies or chicken feed. What is this candy Ew. called today? What does today? that even mean? It was called buttercream butter candies and chicken feed. What is this candy today? Buttercream. Buttercream. Mm-hmm. Philadelphia. Philly buttercream chicken feed. Buttercream. Think about, <laughs> Philly, buttercream, think about really popular Halloween candies. And, uh, um, I'll give candy you, corn. Yes. Oh. Candy corn. Yeah. I Isn't love candy corn. Those are disgusting. <gasps> you love them? Michael Something is wrong Mala. with you, Kelly. No. No, we actually I had a discussion about this. And that's it. No, Lindsay and I had a big, we had a deep, uh, deep conversation I'm together a, I'm about I'm okay candy. with it. I'm okay with it. You're only okay with it? I thought you liked if it. If I never saw it again, I would be okay. This is what we talked about. Yeah. If yeah. I never saw it again, I'd be okay. But if it's there, I'm going to eat it and I'm going to like it. I don't think you guys realize how empty and soulless you would feel on halloween if it suddenly no longer existed if candy corn was suddenly taken away forever but like i like it visually i don't want to eat well even just for that i mean it's literally just sugar so it's i mean what you can't really go wrong (laughs) but it tastes it's like funky sugar triangles i don't know yeah yeah that's fair yes okay Uh, that i love let's do two more okay I'm going to do, okay, both of these have been talked about on the show before, but I want to see how much Kelly remembers and what Mike knows. Okay. Okay. So this was talked about in last year's Halloween episode. So we're doing a little recap. So let's, I'm going to ask Kelly this question. 
Some Halloween rituals used to involve finding a husband. Can you tell me which ritu- ritual would be associated with finding a man? Is it A, trick-or-treating, B, bobbing for apples, or C, dressing up in costumes? I think bobbing for apples, if you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> that is correct. I mean, was it apples? It was bobbing for apples. Oh, okay. There the, wasn't a hidden no. a hidden phallus inside the <laughs> But I could <laughs> see tub. where you would get that. <laughs> it should be bobbling, bobble, bobbling. bobbing for bananas. Bobbling. Bobbing for bananas. Yeah. <laughs> They said the hawking for Kogan. <laughs> Ew, gross. Um, they said the winner would marry first, kind of like the throwing the bouquet at a wedding. Yeah, but way more phallic and just weird. way way more like intense and unnecessary, and like putting your whole head in a bucket of water and trying to. It's it's actually very hard. Have you ever it's kind of it? sexy, right? It it's not sexy. Uh, it's like you feel no, you sexy. feel drenched and it's like a workout, but like you're being drowned. Should we play that at the okay. Halloween yes. party yes. just so we all I share so. COVID germs? Absolutely. Oh, good idea. Yeah, yeah it's a good year to do idea. it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It seems like the year to Bob for Apples, don't you think? <laughs> it's the year if there ever was one. All right. So, Mike, last Halloween question on my end. I want to know if you know the answer to this. And I have a right. feeling that you probably do since you're in the movie biz. Okay. When shooting the original 1978 film, Halloween, production designer Tommy Lee Wallace picked up two masks from a Hollywood Boulevard magic shop, a clown mask and a blank mask. When Tommy came in with the clown mask, they knew it was scary. But when they saw the other mask, they knew it was perfect for Mike Myers, what kind of mask was it? I can give you A, B, and C if you don't know. William it. Shatner. Yes! William Shatner. Oh, <laughs> my God. I knew you would know that. I knew it. Well <laughs> done, Mike Mala. Good job, Mike Mala. All right, I think we're tied, Thank Mike Mala. Thank you. I got one. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You got two. You got two. two. Oh, yeah. You guys Cocaine are tied. Cocaine <laughs> on Halloween. It ca- hey, it counts. All right, Mike. So speaking of horror movies, and you said that you loved horror movies and it's one of the things you love the most about this month. What is your favorite <clears throat> horror movie? If you had to oh, pick one. I, I know that's tough. Well, I or top three. My favorite f- franchise is Friday the 13th. Okay. Because oh, okay. um, my other you know thing I love is camping. Yes. Yes. It's got both. Yes. All right. So I have a quick Halloween or rather horror movie quiz for you. I'm just now realizing I told Kelly to do this quiz and I I don't watch scary movies. I should have probably I should have probably done this quiz because you do watch scary movies. (laughs) Number one, Mike Mala. What was the first horror film to be nominated for a Best Picture Oscar? Was it A, Halloween, B, The Exorcist, or C, The Amityville Horror? Wow. I don't know this. I'll say The Exorcist. That is That was my guess. Yes. Very good. Good job, Mike Mala. (laughs) And it actually received... Um, 10 Oscar nominations that year, 1974, including a Best Supporting Actress nod for Linda Blair. Um, Okay, number two, Lindsay. Yes. Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho Mm. was the first American film to show what on screen? Was it A, a shower, B, a toilet, or C, a murder from the point of view of the killer? Ooh, a murder? Technically, no, that's not correct. Is it a shower? No, it's actually a toilet. What? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) So that was uh, sneaky. Yeah, it was the first American film to show a toilet on screen, um, and the first American film in which we hear a toilet being flushed. Whoa. And uh, yeah, apparently that's just how repressed 
us Americans were back in the 50s. Wow. Um, so it was, they did, some of it was shot from the point of view of the killer, which was new at the time, but there was a film that had done it like the year before or something. Um, okay, number three, Mike. Stephen King has said that he didn't like the way The Shining turned out, the film. What was his criticism of the film based on his book? Was it A, the casting, B, the direction, or C, it strayed too far from the book? I have heard this, but I don't know why. Um, I think I must have strayed too far from the book. No, that is oh, incorrect. Crap. Lindsay, would you like a chance okay. to steal? Maybe he didn't like the cast? That is correct. He didn't like jack nicholson's portrayal of the character wow um, i actually also would have would have accepted the direction because he had some things to say about stanley kubrick as well in 1983 stephen king told playboy i i'd admired stanley kubrick for a long time and had great expectations for the project but i was deeply disappointed in the end result parts of the film are chilling charged with a relentlessly claustrophobic terror but others fell flat Wow. And he didn't like the casting of Jack Nicholson either, claiming, quote, Jack Nicholson, though a fine actor, was all wrong for the part. His last big role had been One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, and between that and the manic grin, the audience automatically identified him as a loony from the first scene. But the book is about Jack Torrance's gradual descent into madness. Mm. And if the guy is nuts to begin with, then the entire tragedy of his downfall is wasted. So that makes sense to me, even it though does. I fucking love that, that does movie. Make sense. Yeah. All right, wow. Lindsay, number mm -hmm. four. The 1820 short story, The Legend of Sleepy Hollow, which mm. was, of course, the basis for uh, the 1990 film, Tim Burton film, Sleepy Hollow, depicts a headless horseman looking for his head. But what is this myth based on, Lindsay? Is it A, the Irish legend of the Dullahan, B, a Hessian soldier who died in the American Revolution, or C, a Norse mythological creature? called the draugar uh i'm saying no to draugar okay what's the other two a hessian soldier <laughs> who died in the american revolution or an irish legend of the dullahan i think it's a that is correct i would have also accepted the Douche. hessian soldier oh they both are a thing yes they're both a thing so the headless horseman uh. is a mythical figure um, uh, very similar to a headless reaper or demonic fairy known as the Dullahan in Irish myth. So basically, sitting upon a horse, the man rides with his head held high in his hands so that he may scan his surroundings, and he carries a whip made out of a human spine. Ooh. Uh, so in some myths, he's holding his head, in some there's no head, and he's looking for it. But if he stops you and says your name, you will die instantly. Ooh. So they're basically the Dillahan oh in the Irish myth. So they're like the heralds of death. Uh, it's a summoning of the soul of the dying person. Wow. They, yeah. They whip you with a spine. With a uh, yeah, a whip made of made that of a human spine. Painful. It's psychotic. <laughs> Uh, um, I'm into and, it. Yeah, and then the and then there is this this uh, folklore about this Hessian trooper, which was like a German soldier that fought with the English in the American Revolution. Um, he was killed during the Battle of White Plains in 1776, decapitated by a cannonball, um, and the shattered remains of his head were left on the battlefield while his comrades uh, carried hastily carried his body away. Eventually, they buried him in the cemetery of the old Dutch church of Sleepy Hollow, from which he rises as a malevolent ghost, furiously seeking his lost head. Mm. Yes, that's yes. the story in the, in the movie, the Timber movie. Yeah. yeah. Never, the, never the, saw it. It's great. I just rewatched it really? last, last spooky season. Yeah, it's mm. really great. All right, Mike. Very spooky, very Halloween-y. It yes. is. And it's funny, too. It's cute. Like, it's... It's scary, but it, you would like it, I think. Yeah. Because it's not just scary. It spooky, has humor. Spooky, not scary. And, yeah. It's spooky, not scary. All right. I'll, I'll dabble. Okay. All right. Mike, which one of these was not an inspiration for the 1974 film, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Was it... So which one of these was not an inspiration? A, a disgusting medical student who stole a cadaver's face to make a mask for Halloween. Oh. B... <laughs> Serial killer and corpse defiler Ed Gein, who made human skin lampshades and nipple belts. Or C, director Toby Hooper's father, who was an eccentric with a chainsaw fascination. Ooh. It was 
I'm which one of these is not, not an inspiration for the not, film? Not the director's father. Very good. That is correct. Oh, <laughs> right. Creepy. Yeah. yeah. Nipple belts. Nipple belts. It's spine whips and nipple belts. Spine whips and that's, that's the, the name, that's of, the name this of this episode. episode. Spine obviously. whips and yeah. nipple belts. <laughs> Last question. Sounds like a great weekend. Yeah. Last question, yeah. Lindsay. This one's for you. And if you get it wrong, Mike will have the chance to steal. Oh no. And, be, and actually, this is for the this is for the win because I have two. Lindsay has two. Together we have four. Oh, Mike has four shit. points. So oh we're tied. This is for the win. This is for who wins this spooky season. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god, Lindsay. Yeah. Which one of these statements about the 1990 film Troll Two? hailed as the worst movie of all time is not true not true which one is not true a it is not a sequel to the movie troll and there's no connection between the films b there are no trolls featured in the film troll 2 or c it was originally intended to be a comedy um c is not true <gasps> that is correct i know my troll too <laughs> i know my troll too Lindsay, we won Woo! Oh, oh my gosh. god! I lost this spooky season quiz. Listen, unless I forgot to write down a point, which is entirely possible, but I think I was doing it correctly. Let's be honest, I'm sorry, Mike. Marsha was doing it correctly. You win every spooky season by default. Just let us have Thank this you. one. Le- okay. Yeah, let us have this you one. Can have it. Okay, <laughs> Mike. You can have it. We are <laughs> so excited to play with you on Halloween. We're going to see you soon. Actually, a few weeks for Halloween, but for Halloween, we're so excited to dress up with you. And we'll post pictures yes. if there's some that are safe for work yeah. um, when we release this episode. Keep your at home, <laughs> Unless you have one, and then um, we'd like to you to take pictures of it, send it to us, and then we'd like you to turn yourself into the yeah. FBI. <laughs> Perfect. All right. <laughs> Mike, we'll thanks for playing with us. Yes, thank you both. It was nice to see you. Nice and I'll see you in real life soon. Yay. Yay. All right. See you soon, See Mike. you soon. Well, that was Mike Mala Melandra, <laughs> um, one of our most talented, funniest, funnest friends. And um, we couldn't do Spooky Season without him. No, he is the Spooky Season. We are master. nothing without yeah, him no. this Spooky Season. He made me who I am. I know. He, ga- he gave me back my love for Halloween. Yeah. To be on- to perfectly honest, I hate holidays, and holidays are really hard for me just traditionally. Uh, and. This and even something fun like Halloween, just still, I hate, hate, it's a hate, lot of pressure. Hate holidays. What are you going to dress up as? What are you going to be? It's also just like childhood memories of holidays mm. are always spiked with like a lot of Stuff. turmoil, yes. right? So, like, but holidays you- just bring that up in me. But I've always loved Halloween, it's always been like part of my heart. And it's just, he helped me rediscover yes. like, the, the, the childlike joy of spooky season ah i love that well this is dedicated to all the adults out there that think they can't dress up anymore for halloween or halloween reminds you of your terrible childhood (laughs) have fun this year be safe eat lots of peanut m&ms no eat reese's peanut butter cups uh and also like i and candy corn candy corn do it we challenge you Don't forget to rate, review, subscribe. Tell your friends. Happy Halloween. We love love you guys. Be safe. No silly string. Bye. Bye. Fuck you. I'm smarter.